Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this irregular polygon as you can see in this figure along with these vertices A, B, C, D and E. And moreover, the angles given to us are this one 80 degrees, 20 degrees, 10 degrees and 160 degrees. And now we are going to calculate the angle X. Before we proceed, let me make it very clear that our this given figure is not 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and extend these line segments BD and this other line segment CE such that they meet at some point P. Let's go ahead and extend this line all the way over here. And I'm going to extend this line as well. And they meet at this point P. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we have got this triangle DPE, as you can see. And now we are going to connect this point A and this point P. Let's go ahead and connect these two points and keep extending it. And here's our much nicer looking diagram once again. And as you can see that we have connected these two points A and P. And now here is our next step. As you can see that this line AP has uh, divided this angle A into two parts, isn't it? You can see this one. So let me go ahead and call this part as an angle theta. This side, I'm going to call this angle theta. And this total angle is 80 degrees. So this side angle is going to be 80 degrees minus theta. That's what I just wrote it down over here. And here's one more thing. We see this line segment DE and this line AP, this one, they intersect each other. Let me go ahead and call this point F. Now, once again, let's focus on this small triangle DPE. This angle has been divided into two smaller angles. The one, first one is DPF and the other angle is EPF. Let me go ahead and call this angle DPF as angle alpha and this angle I am going to call beta. No wonder I put down this angle DPF is alpha and the other angle EPF is beta. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle APB, the one that I shaded on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and recall this exterior angle theorem. And here is our exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. As you can see over here, this is our exterior angle that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So our in this triangle APB, we can see that our two interior angles are theta and 20 degree. And our this alpha angle is our exterior angle. So we can easily write as alpha equal to theta plus 20 degrees. And now let's consider this other part of this triangle APC, the right shaded region over here. We can see that we can apply this same exterior angle theorem. And here in this case, our interior angles are 180 degrees minus theta and 10 degrees. And our exterior angle in this case is beta. Therefore, this exterior angle beta could be written as equal to these two interior angles are 80 degrees minus theta plus 
10 degrees, isn't it? Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. 80 degrees minus theta plus 10 degrees, that is going to give us 90 degrees minus theta, which is our beta. And here's our next step. Let's recall we already figured out our alpha and beta in our previous steps. And now let's focus on this angle DPE. And now we can see that this angle DPE is equal to the sum of these two other angles, alpha and beta. So we know alpha value and beta value. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Alpha is theta plus 20 degrees plus beta is 90 degrees minus theta. And we can see this positive and negative theta, they are gone. So we ended up with 110 degree equal to this angle DP. E. So thus our this angle DPE turns out to be 110 degrees as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Now let's focus on this small triangle DPE. We know that this angle, the one is 160 degrees and this other angle, this angle is going to be 20 degrees because they both are supplementary angles and if you add their angles that turns out to be 180 degrees. So thus I wrote down over here this angle DEP is 20 degrees and moreover this angle DPE is 110 degrees. Now we can see that these two angles are our opposite interior angles and this angle X is our exterior angle, then according to the exterior angle theorem, we can write this one, angle X equal to this two, the sum of these two opposite interior angles, which is 20 degrees plus 100 and 10 degrees, so that means our angle X turns out to be 130 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 130 degrees as you can see over here. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.